Hey guys, Brandon Adams here from Major League Bowhunter. And recently I had a little project on my hands and I made what I have deemed an antler tree. I'm gonna take you through my whole process of how it came from a tree uh, to in my office sitting behind me right now. So here we go. Here it is right whenever I first got it. I actually let it dry out for uh, oh, probably five or six months. I'm, I'm sure that's longer than it needed to, but I let it sit on my porch for a long time up off the ground where the moisture uh, couldn't you know, soak into it from the ground and where the sap and all that stuff could seep out of it, which it did, there was sap everywhere. So basically what I'm using is a grinder with a wire brush on it. And you know, this part, you know, takes some time. This particular piece of tree that I have is about 15 feet long. Uh, and I only needed about eight and a half to nine feet of it. It's a tedious process, but uh, it's, it's fairly, you know, easy. The grinder does all the work, so just got to go over it several times. What I ended up doing was taking the outer layer off and then going back and then taking it the next layer, which is a real thin, darker color wood, and I would scrape that off all the way down to the white wood underneath. And here's a shot of the wood before I took it all the way down to the white wood. It's really, really, really messy. Yes, it is extremely messy. So wherever you do this particular process, make sure that <laughs> it can be a place that can get dirty and do not let your wife see you because my wife seen me and she was uh, not letting me come in the house for a while. I had to get literally hosed off in the yard. All right, to cut the ends, I just use a recep. I'm not a wood guy. I'm not an ex wood expert, but as you can see here, it peeled part of it off whenever it fell. And if I think if I had a support on the end, this wouldn't have happened. It happened on the bottom as well. Um, you know, the bottom was a lot bigger chunk that came out. I was able to grind it down and soften it up. You really can't tell that it's there, but as you can see, it would have been a lot nicer if uh, that didn't happen. So the next phase, is uh, I took a concrete drill and drill a half inch hole in the concrete. And this is what I use for the base. You can use pretty much whatever you want for the base. I happen to have this concrete slab laying around and decided to use this. So I drilled a hole for my lag bolt. And now on the bottom of it, I actually have to kind of wallow out the bottom so my washer and the head of my bolt will go in there and set flush on the ground. So here I am chipping away. I actually drilled several holes around the, the initial hole. Uh, here's the, the finished product. And here's a shot of it after I uh, washed it up a little bit. You can see where I had drilled around it a little bit more. So I actually had a 10 inch by half inch lag bolt. Uh, with a washer and then I took a 3 8 inch paddle for my drill and drilled the pilot hole in the bottom of my cedar post. So then I connected the two uh, from the bottom, took my impact and started cranking away. You know, it took a while to suck it in there, but once it uh, got sucked in there, you know, most of that 10 inch lag bolt is inside of the actual cedar post. So Whenever you go to actually stand it up, it is extremely sturdy. So here you see me standing up for the first time. The way I decided to connect the European mounts to the tree is I took these little hooks that I got down at the hardware store as well as this nylon string. So I just tied it around the pedicle of each deer antler and, and let it loop back around. So from the front, you can barely see it right here. And here it is hanging uh, actually on the tree. This is a little bit looser than I really would want it to be hanging. And then I just stacked them in there uh, basically as as much as I could and here it is the finished product. I'm extremely happy with the way it turned out I know I am NOT a carpenter. I do not have a lot of woodworking skills. So I'm sure there are a hundred different ways to do this better and if you guys have any Better ways to do it, you know Leave a comment in the section below and you know, let us know man I mean this was uh, this was a fun project that didn't take that long of actual work I'm extremely happy with it. It's a nice uh, corner piece in my office and it gives me something to do with my European mounts than the traditional, you know, throw in a pile or, th or, or put a plaque up on the wall. So let us know what you guys think in the comments below and click and subscribe and thanks for watching.